Hey, what's up, guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com, and we got a question from Mr. Mojo. Well, not Mojo. His name is Mo. I just Mo, forgive me. Shantnawi. And sometimes I just like to play around, guys. Don't mind me. Okay, so hey Tony, can you please give us some tips for laying clear coat to possibly reduce the amount of orange peel? I've heard some body shops don't even wet sand after paint and they overall, they look really nice and flawless. For some reason though, I've done a few projects and I always find myself spending a significant amount of time wet sanding uh, to get rid of orange peel. It's extremely time consuming and I can't help but think that I laid the clear coat incorrectly. I've done three different projects so far with the help of your video, so thank you so much. However, the Explorer is my most recent. So let's actually check out the Explorer. Here's the before picture, guys. Wow, that thing looks horrible. Oh my goodness. Whew. And look at the end result. Oh my God, looks beautiful. Great job, Mo. Looks fantastic, and I think you buffed it out. So here's a couple of tips to consider. Um, number one, make sure you're using a good grade clear coat. Because a lot of the cheaper clear coats will give you dye back a few days later, which is basically it looks glossy after you spray it, but then a couple of days once it starts to cure, right, and evaporates and it's really cured onto your panel three, four days a week later, it looks pretty dull. Like it doesn't look glossy, glossy the way it did. So that's because of cheap clears. You get that from cheap clear coats. So if I were you, I'd invest in, in good medium grade clear coat, okay, if you can't afford the high end. Some, but there's a clear coat out there called Tamco, which I'm starting to experiment with, uh, that is sold at Zula.com. If you go to Premium Paint Products Clear Coat Kits, Tamco here, um, right here, you can actually get good Euro, good Euro clear coats. Okay, and also um, they're all high. You can get high solid or medium solids. If you want to get the best of the best, look for a high high solid clear coat um, and what did they have here which one was it I know this is a very good clear coat it's the euro euro clear coat two to one uh, a gallon kits 172 bucks so this is basically pretty much compared to the house of color clear coats and I've tested them side by side and you really can't tell the difference like up till now like I always get good clear like I always I go cheaper on the base coat, okay, because really base coat, you know, you could you could kind of cheat on the base coat, okay, you don't have to get the top of the line, top grade, most expensive, you can go with the medium grade base coat, and I always put, I always like to put finish off with a good clear coat, and my go-to clear coat for many years was House of Color, okay, but recently I've moved over to Tamco, and I've been getting really, really good results, you know, they claim to basically have the same ingredients as the high-end clear coats, the organic uh, pigments and, and and everything they do here uh, to, to make a very, very good clear coat. So check them out. You know, check them out. Spray it. You don't know until you do it. They have the Euro Clear and they also have the Glamour Clear. It's a four to one. This is also a good clear coat. Uh, and they also sell it in a quart size and a uh, gallon size. So let's see, the gallon should be g g gallon right here. It's only 124. Pretty pretty damn cheap. Um and then the Euro Clear is the higher grade, okay, which sells for 172. So not bad. Plus 20 bucks shipping, 25 bucks shipping on top of that because it's heavy stuff. Um, and it is a hazmat thing, so you gotta, you know, there's extra money for shipping. But this is a very, very good clear coat. I would definitely look into this at Zula.com. Check it out. Um, they have you covered. Okay, so besides that, okay, you'd probably want to get a good clear coat gun. Okay, um, clear coat, low volume, low pressure RP. This uh, Atom X27 resembles the SADA RP. So you can go out and spend 800, 900 bucks for a SADA RP, depending. Uh, or you can invest 369 and get the Atom X27, which will lay on your clear like a boss. Like this is the only gun that I use right now uh, for my base coat and clear coat, these guns. I also use the X20 for a lot of my primer work, uh, but you could spray base coat, clear coat with all of these guns. They all have a stainless steel insert throughout, so you can also do waterborne paints. 
And if you invest in the Atom X27 here, you get a free gun bud, which is a lighting system. Super, super cool. It lights up your paint. Uh, just check out accessories. Go to gun bud. And you can also check out uh, the light that you can buy separately if you want to check this out. But there's a video here. Um, actually, one of my videos that they used to showcase the product. <clears throat> so besides good clear, a good spray gun, okay, the other issue is going to be your temperature settings. So make sure that you're using a flow out, a good flow out clear coat, not a fast dry or a medium dry in hot weather. If you're spraying in hot weather, you want to use a slow dry. That'll give time for your clear coat to flow out. You know, most of us DIY guys don't have a $50,000 spray booth to do your paint jobs in and get a baked paint job and cure it and done in two, three hours, right? We don't have that. So we're doing it in our home garage or in our shop garage without a spray booth. You could still get professional finishes, hands down, 100% guaranteed. Okay, you just have to know the techniques and the ways to get it done. And I'm telling you how to get it done right here in this video. So make sure you're using a medium to slow grade uh, activator in your clear coat. Okay, so you have a chance for it to flow out. And also when you're laying your clear coat on, you've done three projects so far. Just make sure that when you're as you're spraying and laying the clear on, that you're seeing it gloss up and flow out, okay? If it looks a little rough or it doesn't look glossy, glossy, that means you don't have enough clear coat. And not having enough clear coat will give you orange peel, okay? So keep that in mind. Hopefully this video helped you out. Comment down below, let me know what you think. If anybody out there has any additional tricks they could add to this, please let me know. Oh, also, I think I forgot to mention air pressure settings. You wanna spray clear coat at a little higher settings, around 29, 30 PSI, 28, 29, 30, depending, okay? Because depending on the clear coat, I usually like to adjust it and see what's going on, see how it's flowing on. And sometimes I might have to up my pressure. You know, it's hard to just give you a boom, spray at 30 pounds, that's it. You don't know. It depends on temperature, how warm your clear coat is in your cup, how cold it is, how it's laying on the panel, the temperature of your your whole shop and the, and the car itself, everything, right? You gotta see how it flows on. And also, I would go for the two coat clear coat method. So instead of going a tack coat then two heavy coats, just try putting it on heavy from the first coat, like a medium heavy, just lay it on. Lay it on as your, as your clear coat, you know, like it's your last coat. Just lay it on really well. Let it flash for 30, 35 minutes or so, and then lay your second coat and it should look good. Keep me posted. Let me know what you think. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, guys, if you're brand new to this channel, please subscribe. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, um, you can head down to learnautobodyandpaint.com by clicking this little button here if you're on mobile. Click that. You're going to be able to download a 100-page auto body and paint guide full of links and videos to help you out with a bunch of text and tons of information for free, guys. For free, you're going to be able to get this book. Download it. It'll help you out with all your projects. If you're on a desktop right now, click right over here uh, down below. There's going to be more links to resources at learnautobodyandpaint.com. I'll put a link in there for Zula.com if you want to check out clear coats and spray guns. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.